me is I'm a practitioner. I've been practicing listening as a clearing forever. I did the numbers to be precise, and it has been, this year is going to be 43 years. Wow. I've been working for 43 years. I worked as a school teacher. I worked as a professor. I worked as an executive. And then in the last 18 years, I've been working as a consultant. So that's what I do. And what I do is this thing of um, being there for people and in such a way that there is some access to meaningful action that in different ways, different um, versions, different uh, levels of competency, different everything, but it adds up to 43 years. So um, there is an author, uh, Malcolm Gladwell, that says it takes 10,000 hours to be good at anything. So 43 years, I guess, adds up to that. <laughs> but but being, being from Brazil and being from Rio de Janeiro in particular, where I was born, uh, we have a unique way of measuring experience, people's experience. And we measure it by saying, how many years have you been on the, at the beach? <laughs> so, so I've been 43 years at the beach. I've been 43 years in this world of listening as a clearing. And, and, and I'm always mesmerized that at the end, there are some circumstances that just don't work the way we had planned. Have you ever been in one of those? You know, you, you bring everything into it. You bring your best commitment, most generous commitment. You bring um, the resources. You bring uh, the planning. You bring everything. And then something happens, and it just doesn't work the way you planned for or you intended. And over and over, this has happened with me. And I said, well, maybe that's, that's the spot where we can go. So when I first mentioned this idea that you know, we plan and things don't happen the way we had originally designed, you all went, yeah. <laughs> so. Um, what I thought about our way of interacting today would be something like this. What I really have that I can give you is my experience of these years on the court. Because listening as a clearing on the court is really dealing with what shows up there and, um, and transforming that into a space where, in which meaningful actions are taken and results are created. Uh, the way I have organized my, these 43 years um, has been really about creating results. I got to deliver results day after day. And, and the results have to be of, of a nature that makes them um, uh, sustainable. They need to be measured. And um, they need to make a difference. Not that they have to make a difference, but they do make a difference. And if I'm going to spend 43 years, I want it to make a difference. <laughs> and and uh, they make a difference to the extent that um, they create a future that was not going to happen if that had not been put in place. Um, they make a difference because the journey that people go through to create them fills their life. And, uh, and ultimately, um, it's about them saying, like you mentioned, oh, having a bigger space at the end. So the results got to have this, na this nature, otherwise it's not worth 43 years on the beach. There's a lot of sun and sand and wind. So you got to have something, some juice to it. So what I thought was I'll, I'll bring these 43 years to you. And I thought we would look into these circumstances in which you have brought everything and something happened, and it was not exactly what you wanted. And I think that's where we can dance. So I thought about asking for, I don't know, six hands. And, but it, it's specific. It's like this. So I'm going to first ask you to connect to one of these situations. Now, for yourself, in your head, so when, when, what was the situation in which I put everything, commitment, resources, planning, Myself, my life dedicated, and boom, something happened and went different. So find one. You got to first have one. You have one? Very good. So everyone has one? Okay. Now, from that 
situation. Now you think, what would you like to ask me in terms of somebody that has been 43 years on the beach? And that we can share about how we went about those stops from the perspective of listening as a clearing. And then you'll give me the guidance of what would be useful. You know, I can talk about ice cream, popcorn, and playing ball on the beach, but not necessarily is what you want. I think there is more to what is it that happened that these years can be put at your service, okay? So if you, want to, if you have one of those and you want to bring into the conversation, give me a guidance of what would be most useful to you, and we'll dance from there. How about that? And, yes, she's going to help me with the hands. One hand. Okay, so before you go up, sorry. I can't possibly listen to all the stories. I apologize. So don't tell me the story, because then I'll sit down and you'll have wonderful stories. Um, it's really, tell me, what is it that intrigued you then, left you puzzled, and then can help me guide my conversation? Okay, so please. And you are? My name is Eric. Okay, nice meeting I'm you, coming Eric. from Philadelphia. Um, so, I just disappeared there. I did okay. something wrong, but that's okay. They'll catch up with me. <laughs> that's all right. So with my company, uh -huh. I'm uh, one of the only graduates. Uh -huh. And I bring forward and, you know, if we could get these things in our relationships out of the way and I talk about what would we be able to do if we open that up and let's, you know, look at this and mostly it's, oh, we know that. Yeah, very good. That Deaf ears. Yeah. Um, and I get acknowledged for the work that I've done with relationships and the impact it has had. But that's Eric. But it doesn't, Trust it me. doesn't get traction on having anything moving with everyone else. Okay, very good. So something that would open up my ability to share with these people such that they are called to action. Perfect. Excellent. I got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Any other hands? Point. Okay, thank you. Please. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Um, I'm Beate, and um, I have a project going on in Sierra Leone in West Africa, which is a very different culture. And uh, I gave the resources, like I am doing funding. Um, and uh, I, um, I have a colleague there who took it on to lead a center we established there. It's about uh, training therapists in mm -hmm. Sierra Leone in a good therapy method. And um, now, uh, what's happening is we cannot have contact because the Skype connection is so bad because of the rainy season. And now, um, she's doing things I didn't uh, know about. And mm -hmm. I give all the resources and I want to be informed. Mm -hmm. But then I also want her to take it over. Uh, so I'm in this conflict <laughs> now. <laughs> Should I be happy that she does it like that? Then I get scared, she becomes a little emperor there, and she does with my money whatever. <laughs> you know. And or, I'm not willing to let go. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not willing to let go. No. Very good, yeah. very good, thank you very much. Okay, so we have two. I can't see from here, so you have to help me. Help me point the hands, because I can't see well from here. Okay. Two more. Okay. Uh, two weeks, I'm a physician. Two weeks ago, two Drug Enforcement Administration agents were in my office asking me about my practice style. And I was confronted. Mm -hmm. Very good. Sounds like me is receiving this invitation. It's perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> yes, please. Um. I'm Kortjan. I've got a Dutch accent. I moved from the Netherlands to Australia uh, 10 years ago to be a flying doctor. Uh -huh. And I've achieved that and I've flown all over the country in New Zealand. And then I went back to the hospital in the emergency department and I've been procrastinating, finishing and, and completing my training. And I think I give it my all. I do different courses, different programs, but I'm just not producing results on the work floor and I make myself wrong, and it doesn't turn in bed, and it just doesn't work, you know, whatever I give myself. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so I think I got enough. To, okay, I said six, so there are two more hands. <laughs> <laughs> and you were taking everything I said, to, literally. Okay, there. 
Hi, my, my name is Bruce, uh, Bruce Campbell. I'm from the UK, and um, I'm an artist. And I spent a lot of money and a lot of time doing landmark courses, right up to creation <laughs> of Sounds freedom. Sounds like me. <laughs> Uh, including creation of freedom, all, all, all to enhance my life as an artist. And I'm not making any art. <laughs> it's like, what the hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> Very good. I got the experience. It doesn't work, isn't it? You. you do everything and it doesn't work. Very good. And then I had promised one last hand here. I'm Ann Thompson Cook. The Okay, there you are. I see you now. Hi. I um, founded an organization with an African-American uh, African minister mm -hmm. to create a conversation from within the black church mm -hmm. around uh, gay and transgender justice. Mm -hmm. And we are very clear that there's a huge hunger for this conversation. And our strategy is very simple to, to work with people who want um, to be supportive and uh, to educate and equip them and put in what's missing for them, that mm -hmm. they could be public about their support and to work with black LGBT Christians uh, to uh, become more visible and share their lives. And mm -hmm. it's a very simple strategy. And, what and we're a big wall, isn't it? <laughs> yes, it's a big world. Yeah. And um, wall. wall. Uh -huh. <laughs> to go through. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so first, thank you to all six of you. And I'm sure the other 700 hands that I can't see now, but I did get.